Anything else you can tell me? Well, the area around his base is usually awful quiet, on account of the heavy old security. But lately, there's been a whole lot of noise coming from that part of the wetland. Okay, I'm gonna check it out. Activating. looking for a Dr. Kvasir here. There you are. Let me just... <laughs> the form is wartime issue, but 
certified for use in eco pod fortification. Vineland, no? Then you must be. Yes. Second generation artist. How fascinating. Vineland, yes. I'm pretty much what's left of it. You check out. Hold on, I will let you in. Dr. Anton Kvasir, genius scientist with a shifty past, original artist, pre-Apophis. They say he worked for the Authority and helped create their mutant soldiers. Then he turned on his masters, joined the cause, fought alongside my folks in the Authority War. I'm not sure how I feel about mad scientists at this point, but I do need his help. It's, uh, it's an impressive setup. Uh, Dr. Kvasir? Kvasir, yes. My lab suffices. Jack legs. <clears throat> My research used to be more mechanically inclined. But over time, the machine, as it turns out, fail. I prefer to rely now on genetically engineered solutions, simply because they can heal. Makes sense, I guess. I hope you don't mind, Walker, yes? I put your scan through my arc mainframe. I know you now. Your parents. Such a tragedy when they were lost. But Irvina proudly took you in, no? She did. As if I was her own. But they killed her. They destroyed everything I ever knew. Dead? Oh no, she was formidable. I was always hoping to, but alas, no. It was a massacre, an unstoppable force. Mutants, a new kind of creature. All tech and armor and guns, and huge, taller than any building. And they were led by a man. General Martin Cross. Oh, he is back then. It was to be expected. Him and his lapdog scientist, Dr. Bendros, were always hard at work on their longevity project. But you see, for that problem, I just might have some solutions. Solutions? I've got one for you. Project Dagger. Ah, you know. <laughs> yes, of course you do. Crowley must have told you already. It will be easy for me to do my part. The project was always equal parts action and science. Come back in about uh, well, six years or so. Then I will have concocted the nanotrite reprogramming agent, or serum, as I prefer to call it. Whoa, did you just say six years? Yes, thereabouts. The science cannot be rushed. Well, yes, it can. Better computing power. But alas, my lab is old and Only the elusive Eco-15 still in orbit could provide the computing power to speed up this process. The Ecopod's still in orbit? Been hearing about that since I was a kid. Yes, it was a miscalculation. Remained on the firmament as the others came tumbling down. If Eco-15 was to be forced down, I could tap into the processing power of that ancient supercomputer. Think of it, to siphon that brute computing force into my poor old laboratory. Is there any way to force it down? Hmm, yes. 
It can be done from the Eden Space Center. Then I'll do it. Yeah. Wait a minute. You knew I was going to volunteer to do it, didn't you? Yes. Come on. 